You know what it is, right? This is what we doing, Murder. Yeah, we doing yeah. this. Like, Murder is in the building. We outside tonight, nigga. Lenny Grant story out now. Yes. Hardest shit in the streets, nigga. Definitely. The hardest shit in the streets. We gonna talk about everything. All that. We All play, that. We gonna play the, we gonna play the 2024. Wrap up, right? You got, you got that, right? You can play the wrap up shit if you want. You can play the wrap up shit. It's all good. All right, but all right. We on that Lenny Grant story right now, nigga. Yeah, that's all. That's all we doing. And we got December thirty first. The wrap up coming though. <laughs> oh, no coming. diddy. <laughs> you know what it is, Superstar J V I P Saturdays. No introduction, my brother. You know, I only can get him one time a year. And I'm glad that we we, we don't have to talk about you know the wrap up. It it, he, it, it took him a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it took, What's it, going on? Yeah. Brooklyn, stand up, boy. Yes, Uncle Murder's in the building. I feel Whoa! Like, I feel like I'm the only person that can get you out to do an interview sometime. And, and shout out to my brother Self. Cause shout I out you. to my, my guy DJ Self. You know the vibes. Now, what's up, man? Shit, we here, Jay. You know, we here, man. Lenny Grant Story out now. Yes. Hardest I, shit in the streets, nigga. Yes, project is out. Lenny Grant Story. I've been told you I wanted to see this project for the longest. Definitely. What what made you decide to finally put the project out? Um, It was time, man. And um, on top of that, Empire was... They gave me the other bag, so I had to hurry up and drop it to yeah. execute the Because you had other bags. Yeah. You know when you got so many bags, you kind of forget about the other bag? Yeah, we had to put that out to um, complete the contract. Yes, man. You know man. what I'm saying? So now, uh, will you start putting out more music now? Of course, man. We, we about to run it up, man. We running it up. Lenny Grand Story got me inspired again. Man, 103 days. Yeah, 103 days, man. 103 shows. That shit was crazy. It was back to back to back to back. No How did kidding. you do it, man? I mean, because when I when when I seen you in the New York concert, it's not like you you really are in the show. Definitely, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah, shout what out is to it 50. for? Sixty minutes? Yeah, nah, shit. It's an hour and a half, damn near hour and forty five minutes. But um, shit, you motivated, man. Work, we got the work. You got bills, got to get paid, yeah, nigga. You start thinking about what? This, yeah, this is easy, exactly. right? Here. Yeah, them bills got to get paid, so you got to go out there and put that work in, man. Put the work, definitely put the work in. Um, the wrap up, you know, um, crazy, crazy, crazy shit, man. crazy. Like you, you, you level up every time. You like is you told me like your your whole like uh like plan of the wrap up. It's now it's not. It's like very so like like it's a rollout to it to it now. Yeah, yeah. We had a little fun with it this year. We dropped a couple of different parts and all that. Yes, shit to and it, you man. actually dropped it where you remember when I was had my complaint like I because you would never send it out to nobody, so everybody would have to wait. To wait, 12. definitely. Now we now we could we we could play it on radio. <laughs> definitely, we had to definitely. wait. Definitely, you know what I mean. So how how is it like being known for a record that's like a holiday, like a Mariah Carey type record for hip hop? Um, and feel, you actually took it over. Yeah, it feel, it feel good, man. It feel good. Shout out to Mariah. That's my homie. Yes, um, another record it, you it did. Feel, it feel good to be part of the holidays a little bit like Mariah. You are the holidays yeah, for hip hop. You got some people that they ain't remember for nothing in this shit. So <laughs> I, 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 I take it. I, I accept it and I appreciate it. It's all good. Then, then also, you remember you had used to have people mad at you when you did the record, but now they want to be a part of the record. Yeah, niggas be wanting to get mentioned in that <laughs> shit. Like, like yo, like, murder didn't mention me, yeah, I already like know. Nigga want to get so, nigga want to get thrown under the bus. It'd be crazy. Yeah, and, and, and it's real stories. Yeah, I ain't making this shit up. The shit is out there. Y'all see what's going on. Yo, but I, I gotta I gotta say, the rollout where you had my man Trick Daddy, like, yeah, shit I know, crazy. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with Trick Daddy, man. But the intro was... <laughs> He, he, he was acting crazy, man. But it, it really, it really made people want to be anticipated. Yeah, it, made, it made it, it made look forward to it. it made people really look forward to. Ha, it. Have you ever spoke to him or he a DM like, yo, listen? Nah, I never spoke to Trick. Ne never. Nah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he was, Trick was coked up, man. I think he was just going through one of them phases. Yeah. One of them highs. Shout <laughs> out to Trick, though, man. You yeah, know. Yeah, we ain't mad at him. Now let, let's talk about the Lenny Grant story. Um, a lot of records I love on there, and also just the entrepreneurship of entrepreneurship of you just putting on other artists and producers, and you never like mention like you was behind the scenes pushing this. Definitely, you know, like uh, one of the producers that's real with with Sleepy, you know, and Chef. 
Um, oh God, Great John. Yeah, Great John on the beat, by the way. Shout out to Great John. Yo, Great man. John be putting that's them. The, that's the secret weapon right there, man. I don't understand why everybody's not. Maybe you just keeping them tucked in, man. Nah, because... not at all. Great John be doing this thing, man. They just sleeping on it. But they're going to really, um, they're going to soon hear a lot more from Great John. Yeah, man. man like, uh, it's, he's it's, an animal with this shit. Yo, he's an I, animal with and, it. and you work well with him. Definitely. That's my guy. That's my boy what, right what, there. What did you, what did, uh, how did, what was the first time you met him and all just listened to his music? He said yeah. something to you? I mean, nah, John been down with us forever now man john's just been in the studio he started as a, a intern just trying mm. to get his shit right you know we used to joke on john a little bit but he just kept going hard like nah you got to hear my beats man yeah he didn't give a fuck what it took he was like you got to hear my beats and he was just a real like aggressive he's to the point he was trying to annoy you with the shit like, yeah because you'll be in the studio recording he might be recording you and you really into what you're doing and then he had just stopped the whole session and be like, yo, I got something I want to play you. <laughs> like, yo, bro, I'm trying to finish up the record. Yeah, like, man. what the fuck? But that's how determined he was to let you hear his his work. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Murder's in the building. Shit crazy. Crazy, crazy. Shit crazy. Yo, you might have to do a, a, a springtime. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of DMs about, you know, all the all the all the all the Diddy shit that's going on, just from the Cat Williams shit that happened at the start of the year. Yeah. Everybody been hitting me like, yo, we need to wrap up now. They they said like Cat Williams was like the Uncle Murder wrap up yeah, interview. I'm not mad at that. He definitely was. He, he he was going crazy. Now now, why do you feel like all these type of stories are coming out like they feel like it's like aiming at everybody like what do you how do you feel about it i mean it's crazy i really don't know how i feel about it right now that's why i usually reserve my um opinions and my my thoughts the to show, the end of the year to the end of the year but it seems like i just be thinking about this and now like damn i want to see how certain things play out yeah i did not give my opinion and my sense of humor on it what, what do you feel about because you know you're a person that actually like really changed your life around your father, you know. Uh, it, didn't you say your son had books out too, right? Yes, yes. My um, my two, my two um, baby boys, Kylo and Makai, they actually did like a little children's yeah Christmas dinosaur book. We have. Put do out do they know them. that their dad's a famous rapper? They do know I rap. They starting to learn that a little bit more now. They're yeah, starting to learn it now. They still young. They seven and four. So they starting to figure it out. Now. Yeah, like my father is yeah, he, he a, rapping. He out there doing some things. Yeah, he's he be a, on tour. He be on a lot of planes and yeah, a, lot, a lot of planes on the radio and things of that nature. So they starting to get it a little bit. Now, uh, what do you feel like? Like I want to ask you uh, one 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 big topic of hip hop, Young Thug. Like he's been on. Like I've never, and you know, we always we we could always talk about it. But like, how, like have you ever seen a trial that long? No, I think they doing them dirty. Right now, I think they violating on um, Young Thug. How, how can you have a trial? They said if they interview every witness, it'll be four years long. I, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I know they need to give him bail or something. Yeah. At least let him fight it from home at this point. You know? Yeah. Even if you put him on house arrest, it's all good, but let the man go home. You know what I'm saying? That, I know you like. doing it. It's overkill. <laughs> That's when I see all the things that she going through, the district attorney for him. You know yeah. Man? Now her man had to get off the case. I know she's stressed. But yeah, Young Thug need to let, let him go, man. <laughs> let, you know, get yeah, a bell or yeah, something, yeah, man. Get him bell. Let him go. Like I said, put him on house arrest or something like that. Yeah. Something, you know? That's crazy. Yeah, I, 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 young thug, I, I Free I, Young Thug, man. I've never seen nothing like that. Um. The future and the future in Drake beef, man. And you did a record, so you probably or more. No, I don't know. Um, you both cool on both sides. Yeah, I'm cool. I, 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 I rocks with Drake. I rocks with Future. I don't know. If, are they beefing? I, I ain't really hear them take shots at each other. It seems like there's a lot of other things. It's like he's on. on the record though with he's the on person. The records, yeah, but I don't know. It's they are, like of, it's like the new gangster. You unfollow somebody. And <laughs> see, I don't. I don't be knowing about the Instagram thing with the unfollow. You know, I'm more like a direct kind of guy. Yeah, so always. When so when it's drama, I like to hear a person, if it's issues, you know you got an issue, you saying this person's name. I'm yeah. from that kind of era where you know what it is, you ain't really got to kind of pick through it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if Drake and Future got beef. I know it's something, it's something in the air, Okay, but I don't know what it is. Wow. Because I ain't had no names get called like that. Now, you know, they, they have the new phrase, no diddy. Oh, man, no diddy. Pause, no diddy. Uh, Crazy, I, mean. I would. I would never think in twenty twenty four. Did he be going through that? He'd be a phrase on that type of. Yeah, level. like you know, iconic like him to be going through that. But you know, certain situations. Now I want to talk about tour. 
Yeah, tour life. Oh my God, tour I, I, life I remember, is amazing. You know, I do the afternoons here, right? Oh, you do? oh yeah, I, I do the afternoons now. I got, oh, got a little bit of shit. Yeah, I do the oh, afternoon. Oh, yeah. oh, congratulations, Jay! Congratulations, <laughs> come on, come my on, brother! Congratulations! On, so, you know, I be on my afternoon. Hey, say, say for you, don't know, superstar right, Jay. Look, Shout out to my man Ben up. right over here, man. That's, that's right. my guy right What's here. What's happening, my guy? He's proud of me, right? Yeah, he's definitely proud of me. All right, so you know, I have to find the news. So I heard it was one time y'all had a scare on the plane. It's like that shit was about to go down. Oh man. So you know what it is about them um about the Jets? It's good the front on the gram, right? Yeah. The front on the gram. <laughs> Explain, but, I'm... but the Jets, when you go through the cloud, you really feel that turbulence. Like you really feel yeah. the turbulence. In the regular plane, you don't really feel it like that. But when you go through them jets, and we was taking jets every day, every other day, to go to these different cities that we had to go to. So we would feel the turbulence then every day. So one day it was really going down. Like, you're like, <laughs> yeah, oh I, man, I, I see you. They wrote yeah. the articles. Yeah, up. I'm trying. I'm trying to like you know front on the um, <laughs> on the gram and all that. But we in there scared to death. My man, yeah, yeah, on there buckling up and all that, yeah. getting nervous. Now nah, it was crazy. That turbulence be for real. <laughs> what, man. What, 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 what happened, man? You, we was good. I, I'm here, so we made it, right? Yeah. I, I'm here, Jay. We made it. What, what, but, was, um, that, was that at one point? You was like, oh, man. When, when, when we landed, because it was just bad weather that day. It was real bad. Yeah. So it was like a lot of shaking going on. A lot, a lot of shaking. Was Fifth on the plane with y'all? Yeah, Fifth was on the plane. He be acting like that shit ain't even happening. <laughs> he be just regular still walking around. Niggas be like, man, hold on. Yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, Fifth be calm. Now, so I want to ask you out of the hunt, like, how do you prepare for a tour? Like, because I, like I said, when I'm looking at you from the outside looking in, it's like, damn, they had a hunt, like, you gotta be really in tip top shape. You smoke weed every day. Yeah, 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 definitely. But you gotta be focused, man. Eat a little healthy. How do you? How's the food though? Do y'all have a personal chef that come with you? Nah, we don't got no personal chef. You know, overseas sometimes it's a hit and miss with the food. Sometimes you can be in some spots where the food is like amazing, mm -hmm. and then sometimes you're in some spots where like, man, I ain't eating none of this shit. What spot you know was what that? <laughs> um, what was the what, what was the uh, food that you'll never eat that uh, you try to spot, try? A spot that I wasn't trying to eat nothing. It was uh, I think it was Mumbai, India. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too. Yeah, I wasn't trying to really eat too much out there. I wasn't trying to experiment too much. <laughs> Why? I just wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. They didn't have too many good reviews when it came to that. Let's just say that. You know, so you, it, you know when you go on Amazon and talking and you check the reviews before you buy some shit? They, yeah. Their reviews wasn't good. So even the restaurants? Yeah, it just wasn't good, the reviews. So good. what city was good with good food? Cities that was good with food. We like London. London, you actually get some good Jamaican food when you're out there. They actually got some good food. Paris got some good food. Um, Who ever think 2024 murder would be talking about? I mean, we was all over, man. Countries, yeah. Shit, Dubai, Bahrain. But Dubai, you can't smoke out there, right? Like it's like I said, um, Dubai, Bahrain. Yeah. If you some people can't smoke, some people could smoke. Okay. Yeah, you know. And then you was like in London. You went. Um, you, didn't you? Y'all went and seen the like the real Mona Lisa. Oh, we saw all that. The Mona Lisa. We skipped the whole line and all that shit. The people knew who. We How was, was it? Like I like I've, I've seen it because they said it's, it's like kind of crazy. Like regular picture, man. Regular. Regular picture, man. You know what's crazy? <laughs> it's more stuff in there that's more exotic than the Mona Lisa when you actually in the whole spot. Oh yeah. But I guess they just make the Mona Lisa so. You know, they hype that up so much, but they I think they said it take probably it would take you to view everything that they had in that museum. I forgot how many years they said it would take you to actually see wow. everything in there. But they got a lot of things in there that's definitely more exotic than the Mona Lisa. Mm. But I guess we just be hyped because we know we're... that name, Mona Lisa, whatever. Yeah. But now nah, they got some shit in there. I ain't gonna hold you. Now, I, I wanna ask you I wanna get into, you know, the Lenny Grant story. Let's you go. know, are, are we doing a part two? Um, we might. Well, I might just call do a whole different life experience, something else, mm. and call it. Something I was under else. the comments too. I, I, I'm wait, I'm waiting for the uh, Uncle Murder and Tony Ayo, Lisa. Uh, we actually do got it. We got a project. a project. Yeah, we got a project. We about probably six or seven records in. We got to finish up. Some very numbers. ignorant. Uh, that's gonna be yeah, a very gotta, ignorant project. You no, know, the project. It was actually really. We was highlighting a lot of um overseas shit that we was doing. Mm -hmm. So the project was more like an overseas lifestyle. Shit yeah. That we was doing more just bugging out, having fun. We did a couple videos and all that shit. We shot a video in Dubai and uh, we had shot a video in um, Greece as well too. Well, how do y'all record? Y'all Do they have somebody that- We found studios out there. 
oh. in different towns, different countries we was in. We did some records in Denmark, places like that. Um, Germany, we recorded a few records. Yeah. Wherever we could find a studio at. We get a vibe like, yo, find a studio. You're very calm, you know? I've been, been making a lot of money. I've been, I've been chilling lately. I've been doing a lot of work. Building houses and shit. Yeah, man. Right. People people don't understand. Murder was the first person, like, Murder's put money in my pocket, actually. So that thing, yeah. it, preach, Jay. Yes, preach, man. preach, Jay. And then Murder was the only one who was like, yo, you still didn't get on um the uh the coin. The, the Bitcoins and all that shit. Yes. I was trying to tell you about the Bitcoins, the And Thibiums, I was looking at you crazy. You like news and shit like that. The, have you discovered, I know, because you be around money all the time. How important is it to invest and actually, like, I know you've made a lot of money, but you've been putting in a lot of money to invest. How important is it for a rapper who's listening? I mean, it's, it's definitely very important. It depends on what you're investing in, though. And just know what you're investing in and make sure you can avoid, uh, make sure you can afford to, you know, invest whatever you're investing in. Yeah. So don't, don't, like, for instance, with the crypto shit, I tell people, don't put no money into this crypto shit thinking you're going to flip the shit next month, next week, or even probably next year. Mm -hmm. So if you can't afford to put some money into that shit and just chill for a little while and and see what happens in a few years, then don't even do it. Because if you're looking to take some money out but right you did, away, you did Bitcoin cool. early, though. Yeah, I was in that shit early. I was in Bitcoin when it was Like you said, you, at, at that time, you was like, man, I done got my check. Like it's Yeah, no, I, I came up. I did some things off that shit. I was involved in Bitcoin when that shit was seven, eight thousand $8,000. Mm. He talk about it now, you know, it was just at 74000 the other day. I think right now it dropped. It's probably at about sixty five, sixty six thousand. 66000 Why, right why was there so many, like, because they had, like, a lot of people that was, like, scammed that was put a part of the Bitcoin thing. But you had, they, 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 they wasn't part of Bitcoin. You had some celebrities that was out here. They was promoting other cryptocurrency coins. Mm. They was, like, trying to get people. You know, you had these people that, come up with these coins and then they would pay celebrities to promote their coins and I think that's what some celebrities was doing advising people like hey you should uh, invest in the Superstar J coin yeah yeah and yeah and then people go buy that shit and then that shit wind up being a bubble it blow up on my yeah Lamar you know you remember Lamar Oda's my yeah, man yeah, yeah he yeah, tried yeah. to get me to do a sell of <laughs> I was like Lamar <laughs> so yeah. people was getting caught up with that shit those wasn't official coins but shit like Bitcoin, Ethereum, these is valid mm. shits. You know what I'm saying? Would you would you do a financial class, a Uncle Murder financial class? Nah, because I I, I don't want to I don't want to tell nobody no shit and then shit go wrong. One of my mans in here right now, I gave him some advice on one of these crypto shits. Yeah, and then it went left. So my thing is shit though, but you know he could afford to lose the money, so he wasn't stressed. Yeah. But, so I don't want to be telling people sometimes to put their money into some shit mm. and then they lose their money because that's a possibility as well. But if you Got some money that, like I said, you can afford to lose mm -hmm. and play with, or just hold for a little while and just know eventually your money gonna yeah. turn into some. Cool, do it. Was it ever you know a bad? Saying? Have you ever made a bad investment? Of and course, lost some money. Of course, hell yeah. <laughs> like it's of like course. fuck. Yeah, I try to open up a restaurant. That shit ain't work. Why? 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 <laughs> why what that happened? shit ain't work. What happened? I mean, just you know how shit be sometimes. You know, your niggas, y'all try to figure some shit out. It just don't work. Yeah, was it in niggas Brooklyn? Of course, it was in Brooklyn. What was the name? Of, can I? Can I? Was it a name? It? I, I forgot. There was something like seafood. We was trying to do like some seafood and soul food. Yeah. Some shit like that. But, you know, sometimes shit don't work. Or, or, or just timing, too. Cause you yeah, know, timing. Everybody don't have the time to actually give it 100%. Yeah, because I was, uh, you know, self was like, you know, self is like the downer every time. I was calling him at the time. I got <laughs> yeah, At the time yeah. um, we got the restaurant, I was calling him. He was giving me some advice, telling me where to go get the food. And yeah, some yeah, things see, of that yeah, the, the food depot. So we was trying, all. but like I wasn't around too. I actually did go on tour around the time too. Mm -hmm. So everybody was kind of busy and doing certain things. Yeah, so you can't be, you can't it. have a restaurant and never be there. And yeah, so shit like that. Would you, would you open up one now? I mean, open up like a business like that, like a lounge? Of course. And I know you know you you're from you're from the core of Brooklyn. Have you ever looked at like doing something for the kids in your neighborhood? You know Definitely. East New York. I, I thought about it because you know me. I got I got kids and I be seeing things that my kids like. So I'm scheming on opening up some things for the kids. I don't want to give it away right now. Yeah, yeah, you know, because you punch. represent East but New yeah, York. But I, I'm scheming on definitely doing some some dope things for the kids that they could definitely mm. like and enjoy, man. What What do you think, man? You know, we we went viral. Uh, and I actually like when one of Kanye's people hit me. Oh man! <laughs> like 
Uh, what do you feel about – how do you rank Kanye? Do you feel he's a uh, – because you've actually, like, wrote in his camps and, um, you know, then you kind of left the camp. Yeah. <laughs> I think Kanye um... – Is it, Do you see his, him as a genius or he's, like, real independent? Because now he's actually sold a bunch of records independently. What do you feel That's about it? I think Kanye always going to figure out a way to get some money. That's mm. what I really think about Kanye. And I think he's going to be real unique at it. And I think he always going to make people talk about Kanye. What do you feel about his wife? Like, you know what I mean? He used Who to is be... his wife? He got a new wife? <laughs> nah, he has, yeah, not Kim Kardashian. I ain't even, I'll be out the loop a little bit. I ain't even. Yeah, he has like, a, he has his wife. You know, she, like, you know, before he's like. Oh, the girl that be wearing she, like, like a lot of topless things. Yeah, I, I think that's Kanye. He's going to always find a way for people to talk about his life and what's going <laughs> on. So I think he's mastered that. The way to uh, to keep the attention on him. Yeah, because I've seen like, and I looked at it because um, when 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 they had the whole you know like the the, the disc record, that Kanye just came with a tweet like, I dragged all of those guys. Exactly. In the- <laughs> yeah, he just he wants to always be. He wants that. He wants flowers. He give himself his flowers. Put yeah. Like that. Kanye don't mind giving himself. <laughs> his he don't need nobody else to give him no flowers. He gonna give it to himself. Now, now being from New York, and I, I remember um. The, you know, we 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 knew each other over twenty years. Definitely, and um, I'm so proud of you because you you know how to reinvent yourself. Yeah, you too, my all. brother. Daytime radio. You too, my brother. I'm yeah. proud of you yo, as well, my yo, brother. Yo, Ben Lewis, what's up, man? <laughs> See you, my brother. <laughs> they, they be trying to coach me because I be talking hood and it's shit. It's all so, good. It's all you know, good. I talk, hey, yo, it's yo, all me. good. So let me ask you, right? Like, like just reinventing yourself this many years and still having the love for music. Was it ever a time when Uncle Murder said, fuck this shit, I'm going back to the block because this definitely. ain't working not, for me? Not necessarily say I'm going back to the block, but it was mm. definitely times that I said, fuck this shit. Right? And real talk, it be, it be guys like you sometimes, DJs that just call and be like, yo, what's up, nigga? I need some new shit. Mm. Give me some shit. And I'm like, damn. And, you know, guys like my brother Self, whoever it might be, it might be a, a Drewski, some rest in peace, K Slay, when he yes. used to be on the heavy. And Shout out to Cutmaster C, man. Guys like that. So <laughs> welcome, welcome home, Cutmaster C, he back home. Yeah. But it'd be, it be phone calls and shit like that you get sometimes that might, you know, motivate you and give you a spark back to get back on your shit, man. Yeah, because you, you sometimes, this is hard to get in contact with Uncle Murder. Yeah, he he tells me, like, yo, you always say, I said, because I know you're going to look at that DM. <laughs> <The laughs> Jay phone- got my number for Forever, and he still chooses to set shit up through a DM. <laughs> I be like, Yo. Jay, hey, you think you can do satellite radio through a DM? Nigga, text me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now, coming through that, I think nobody ever asked Uncle Murder, what, who was your top five New York artists ever? Because um, you've been around. We, we do, I'm going to do six with you. Me, it was different. I never really had, like, top fives. I could name a top five, top six. But it'd be like, I don't know, for music, for me, it was different. It's like when you was going through certain shit. Like, I okay, just, so. I, I remember when I was probably, when you first started coming outside, for me, it probably was Nas niggas was bumping at the time. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that, that And Nas salutes you. Nas. Like, all these big Yeah, Nas, definitely salute the Nas. Definitely, hell yeah, Nas shit. Nas wrote on Twitter one time back in the days that I remind him of Biggie. You know, that shit had me. Like, I was like, oh, my God, had me open. <laughs> But now, like, first coming outside, probably was, like, you know, 13, 14 years old. It was Nas going through that semi you first picking up on the streets. This is just my experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, then um, after Nas, it was like you got up on Biggie. Biggie started creeping up. But then Jay came out of nowhere mm-hmm. shit like that. And then you had the locks. And then you had 50 with his whole movement. But for me, it be life experiences, shit that you're going through. Mm-hmm. Like, so I, I, I remember periods I was going through when Nas dropped or – when Big Drop shit I might have been going through and when the locks might have came and then when Fifth and the might have came, nigga was going through real life situations. Mm-hmm. Like you, you playing this music, just getting through everyday life shit on mm-hmm. some other shit. So my top fives and all that shit never was no, I never looked at like the, I know people be looking at the most lyrical and mm-hmm. this time. It was just motherfuckers I could relate to at the time. I yeah. was going through some real life shit. And you've and you you've actually done a record with almost every big rapper. That no, I, I mean shit. Fuck it. You had you had, but you never done one record with Puff. Yeah, no Diddy. No, no Diddy, Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy. Yeah, I, I, I ain't get to do a record with Big neither. I never get never got to meet Big. I came around. Did a record Big. with we did a record with um Jay Z. Did a Jay-Z. record with Jay Z. I did a record with Fifty. Yeah. 
Have you did a record? I with, did a record with Kiss. You did a record with Cam. Did a record with Cam. All the big dogs in NYS, SP. Yeah, salute. Yeah. I didn't get to do one with Nas yet, though, man. Well, Nas, what's up? Because Nas is still yeah, doing I, I, music. Yeah, of course, nah, he definitely is. I, that's the only big dog, big dog. I, I think you should DM him. Way. Like, how I DM you? <laughs> 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 I think Nas would probably be like, oh, shit, Uncle Bird. What the, he's going to open up an Uncle Bird to DM. Yeah, like, I, I ain't get that Nas record yet, man. Yeah, what, 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 how would you, would you want him to, would you give him a beat? Or you'd be like, yo, whatever we got to do. I would probably, um, I would probably really have to scheme on that record. But I, I I scheme on that record. Probably definitely get my boy Great John. I would do a body in the trunk way. type record, like how Nori and Nas. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Something crazy. They have to be a super classic with me and Nas. Super classic. Yeah. Now you got these. You got you got you always. You know what I mean. You put me on. You know I gotta say you put me on the Sleepy Hollow. Definitely. <laughs> and Free Chef. Chef G. Definitely. Yes. How, how how's Eli it going on with Chef? Is it? I mean, you know, he's still trying to figure it out, man. He's still mm. back and forth with the whole court process, so. For now, it is what it is. Yeah, man, Sleepy's really doing his thing. Man. Another, yeah, he another. Got, he on tour right now, shutting shit down, and, and he also um doing summer jam this year. He he you know one of the headliners for that. Yeah, so man. Shout out to my boy Sleepy Hollow. He looking good. How, how does it feel, man? Seeing um New York, you know, like the new, the the New York artists. Feel you know, good, excellent. man. It feel good, man. I, I like what everybody doing, man. As long as you see some young boys out here getting money, they getting to it, man. They got a way to feed their families and eventually get the fuck out the hood. Mm -hmm. It's good, man. I, I, I like what everybody doing. So can we introduce the, the, yeah, the got, new I, young I, guns? I actually got some young boys up in here right now. My boy Keith Muna and my boy Slice G's. They actually opening up on tour yeah. for Sleepy Hollow right now. They shut down New York City. They shut down Where, where, where they from? Brooklyn? Bro, I, I'll they, ask them. They from, of course they from Brooklyn, nigga. East New York. Come on, man. Yeah. So you telling me so you tell me you wouldn't sign a, 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 a Queens artist so much? Like, how many Why stuff not? you been through with Queens? I'm getting money with Queens right now. Shout out to Queens, yes, nigga. Yes, man. You know? Shit. Queens on, get the man. money, nigga. Come on, man. 100 shows. I just seen the calculation over 100 million. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they oh. count yet. yeah, that's what I'm saying. You come right over here, right? Over. Murder, you could get right. You could you, finish counting the money yet. They ain't tally everything up yet. Murder, you, get the money. you know you you could have actually like you oh, got to proctor it. There? Yeah, cause okay, it's all good. So you could probably go over there so oh, yeah, he can okay, proctor yeah. it. Yeah, right, yeah. Cause we I I I at least want an acapella from him. All right, all right. Cause Uncle Murder is the is the he 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 leads the coalition of, of rappers that don't rap anymore oh, for the out. radio station. <laughs> cut it out! I be giving niggas fifteen minute balls every year. What more they want from me? Murder, I heard you got Brooklyn. I heard you got some young gunners in here. Yeah, I got my young. I promise you, Moon. they up next. They up next. They about to have New York City lit. My young boy yes. Keith Moon, now my nigga Slice G in the motherfucking Slice. building. Slice All up, in man. entertainment. Already you know the vibes. Boy. You right, man? You don't know, want you to be beat me up or nothing, man. He on timing, Jay. He on timing. It's New York shit, bro. Nah, it's so good. Listen, listen. Me and Murder, we actually became best friends. I met, I, I, I met Murder three times in one day. That's a fact. We had a long talk. I was selling CDs and murder came out of nowhere on the avenue. That's a fact. He, from back then when <laughs> niggas used to be really running around to the bootleggers giving CDs out and shit. Yo, and then. I go to a party downstairs in the basement in Brooklyn. Guess who's there? I'm in, in, in Queens. I'm in Queens, sorry. yeah. We back at it again. Jay, what up, nigga? We here, nigga. We outside. You had to really That's be funny. outside back then. Yeah, man. so he That's understands. Funny. I'm kind of an outside guy. So introduce yourself. Slice G's, man. Where you from? Brooklyn, East New York. East New York. My man, he's, he be fucking all the girls. I see Muna. that. <laughs> What's your name? Mona? Keith Muna. Keith Muna. Muna. Yeah. Oh, see, you know how he introduced the girls in the bar, Keith Muna. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, let, so when did y'all, how did you meet Murder? Oh, uh, Murder from my hood, baby. No, oh, Murder's outside? He's still baby, outside? Because he's kind of rich now. Oh, man, oh, man. cut family, it out, man. Family, yeah, this, this family. Family. These the homies, man, from we the same hood, man. <laughs> pink no, houses sit over shit. here. Oh, pink Go. houses. Oh, yeah, absolutely. shit. Absolutely. <laughs> I was actually, like, by the pink houses. I used my, my girls to live right in the... Uh, and the shit where they had it right at the back of the pink house. Spring Creek? Yeah, Spring Creek. Bang, bang. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's right there. <laughs> no, where you from? Same spot. Oh, pink, pink houses? houses? Same building. Oh, shit, man. man. From the eight. <laughs> now, I, I, I heard y'all got a new record. You know what I mean? Both of y'all have a record, and then you have a record. But I, I need a 16. Come on, Slice. You start off, man. Need me to start off? Yeah. 
Mm. Got a B. What's the B? Got a B? Are you acapella? You nah, acapella, acapella, man. We don't want to do. We don't want to be and make it difficult, Come man. Oh man. Come on, you, you Hollywood. You done You're did right, it. hundred million. Okay. I, you know I, what I mean? I ain't trying to find head. no B. Off the head. This off the head, man. Let's do it. I'm still in the streets, running around in the east with my heat. Let a nigga trying to play. He gonna be dead in the streets. My niggas out here. Big homie carry. Mm. Hold up, time okay, he's yeah, getting very yeah, aggressive. Don't worry, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we uh -huh. ready to go. We scratching it. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Jay. Let's do it. Let's do it again, yeah. yo. You got you got a sixteen for me? Nah, I don't got a sixteen for you right now, Jay. Listen, listen. I just trying to help you, nigga. Look, look, look. Did you hear what I said? The fight is fixed. None of this is recorded. So act like you got a sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold on, I got, I got a few. All right, my so we gonna start with you. Yeah, start with right. man. Yo, hold, hold on, hold on. We got East New York in here, Gang Brooklyn. Yo, man, can I get a sixteen from you, man? Oh man, hold on. I got you, man. I swear this shit don't stop. Niggas rats, I don't talk to the cops. Still in the trap, bagging up. What you need, cause I got. I'm with the same niggas. Can't switch, I ain't Nintendo. Niggas broke, I'm in them stores. You be looking through the window. I was posted in the trap, remember? I ain't have a home, but the trap with my last. Got some work at Father Stone, if I ain't got time, no one to cuddle. I got Muna on my mind, I keep a tan, can't let my brother tell my mother that I died. Walking fresh right out the can into reality. I got demons after me, feel like Sonic, the way they try to shadow me, and account a lot of. Whew. Oh, <laughs> shit, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk. Talk. talk, He got the 16. <laughs> Slice, Slice, what's up, man? Uh, you got, you got. Listen, I ain't Slice ain't got the. All right, so you know what? We want, I, 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 Uncle Murder still here. Brooklyn Green Come Light on. Gang you shit, know nigga. Slice G's, man. Slap. Muna. Muna. When I get all the bras now, murder before you leave. What's up, man? I, and I need to hear my whole shit up here too. The whole Lenny Grant story, the whole fucking project. Let's Jay. do it, man. What's up, Jay? Bro, I'm, I'm gonna talk. You know, we we gonna we gonna see about rotation. Okay, we can't do this talk, over here. Talk to me, talk. yeah, man. We, Ron Mills, I'm I'm looking for you. Yeah, oh man, <laughs> then you you good then? You good then? Now, now what was the next? Uh, uh, before you leave, I, I said that. When are we gonna see Uncle Murder acting again, man? Um. As soon as I get a few things together, man, I'm definitely gonna start taking some acting classes, man. And then you got enough money. Uh, uh, you, uh, no, I said, Mona, you got enough uh, money. Yeah, I could do some. To do yeah. like, let's do some. I do a two think I movie. I could have did better than um, two chains and. Um, yeah, I, I could have definitely did better. Than I don't think chains. so. I, what? I would have bodied two chains, my nigga. What? How? You, the two chains, that, that Atlanta, you could have did that. You could have did that Atlanta. Um, they, they did the whole Atlanta accent. And all yeah, that shit, you could have right? did that Atlanta accent. I probably could have, man. I probably could have. But I see you in like in the BMF or something like that. But you I might, I might, I might, I might. You just gotta go to a tryout, man. I know. I, I I ain't gonna put the work in yet. I'm gonna put the work. So in. what about Uncle Murder uh, writing a movie and just like putting? Yo, Tubi's like Tubi's popping yeah, right Tubi. now, bro. Bro. Tubi definitely got some things going on, man, but I don't think I'm fucking with Tubi. Nigga. <laughs> Why, man? You know what I'm saying? Because um, I fuck with 50, nigga. Why the fuck would I fuck with Tubi, nigga? Okay, so I'm if sorry. I decided to take some movie and um, the That World Series, I got the plug, nigga. I'm not going to go fuck with Tubi. De definitely. I got the plug. Smart nigga. answer. Smart answer. Shit, what, 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 uh, TV show would you make out of a one a Brooklyn like somebody that was from Brooklyn that you really respected like I would definitely do a, a movie after, after him. Um, me and my niggas, man. Shit, I, that's, I mean, coming up, we only respected us. I'm just gonna keep it real. We didn't really respect no yeah. other niggas, the older niggas. It was cool. We see y'all, but all we gave a fuck about was us. Uh -huh. That's why I just dropped the Lenny Grant story. So. We didn't make a movie about us. Oh, so, so we've been through. We yeah, the Lenny Grant story. Niggas. Yeah. Okay. Fuck <laughs> these other niggas, Jay. I'm just being honest. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, My bad. Just being honest.